Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 293. I was playing around with this little radio I got recently, the Sony ICF SW7600GR Troy Radio. And it's about 10 o'clock Sunday morning on the west coast of Florida, and conditions are not that great. But I was playing around anyway to kind of see how it works. And I discovered this channel, or station, at 13.605. And I'm using the internal telescopic antenna. I say internal, it's on the outside of the radio. Um, and I'm getting a lot of noise from all the junk in my room, computers, lights, and everything. So, I thought for the heck of it, I would plug in my little Kato. Look at that, even when I put it near the antenna. Uh, plug in my little Kato K33 Active Loop antenna. And I don't have the controller turned on. It's turned off right now. I just have the connections. And I'm going to plug it into the external antenna port. And it makes a significant improvement. Now, is that conclusive or what? Let me go ahead and plug it all the way in. There. It's even better. So that's making a significant improvement as far as the noise level. Because I think the signal level is about the same. It's just all that noise was covering up the signal. So, and I, I can say, I don't have the controller which provides power to the little amplifier. I don't have it turned on. I'm going to turn that on right now. You can see it lit up. And then I'm going to tune it. So you see, it's not the signal itself is not really getting amplified. I'm going to turn it back off. No difference. But I think the phenomenon that I'm no seeing is the fact that I'm using a loop antenna. It's in the room. It's about mm, maybe eight feet from me, just hanging from the ceiling, basically. And so it's in the room with all the noise environment. It is, like I say, about eight feet away from me, the light, the computer, the monitor. So that may be helping. Let's turn this guy down for you don't want to hear it. Some Spanish station. But it, it does have a significant improvement. Now, let's just try something else. Turn it back up. Unplug it. There's the noise back. Now I'm going to touch the telescopic antenna. That helps too. Now, why that helps, I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody out there that can help me with that. But again, oh, shut this guy up. Again, the signal level itself is not increasing, it's not improving, it's the noise level is being pushed down without pushing down the signal level. So maybe this is a misconception that these external antennas are really improving things, and maybe it's really they're to getting rid of some of the noise that's covering up the signals. Now, I'm going to try one more thing, and I'm going to, I think the connector is the same. Yes, it is. So I've taken the controller uh, and the, uh, which also provides power to the little amplifier that's up at the antenna. Took that out of the circuit, and I'm just going to plug in. I'm going to turn the sound back up. Oops, I'll turn the sound back up. And I plug just the loop itself. And that's making all the difference. 
So the preamplifier that this thing provides power for, it, in this case, in this case, is not doing it. It's the loop antenna itself. So what would be really exciting is that now that loop antenna is about uh, across the diamond shaped loop is about 18 to 24 inches. So that's how big it is. Pretty small. And it would be interesting if I had a large loop antenna, say 36 inches maybe, because I know they make them. They're quite expensive. I know they make them, and you can make them yourself. Now, I've seen a video uh, on another YouTube channel where the individual made, let me turn this noise down, made a loop antenna out of a cardboard box and some wires and a uh, tuning capacitor. Um, and that was it. So it was, you know, if you could get that tuning coil or whatever you want to call it uh, for basically free, then the antenna itself would definitely be under five or ten dollars. I'll put a, uh, a link to that video because it's a very good video where the guy takes some simple things and makes a loop antenna and shows that a loop antenna, that type of antenna, does improve your reception from a standpoint it eliminates the noise. Now, they make and you can get one off my Amazon store or Amazon or any place else. They make little loop antennas that just sit on your desk. It's, you know, about this big. And it's, since it's so small, it's for, um, not for shortwave. It's for the medium wave AM broadcast band. And there's no connections from the antenna to your radio. It's all done by induction induction coupling into the ferrite is it ferrite well the coil antenna that's built into the radio now that is built in that's used for am medium wave reception and what it does it it, it basically puts an antenna on the outside a loop antenna on the outside and then it couples to the internal antenna to provide that external antenna improvement. So that, I just want to show you that. Um, some people say they have bought these um, little loop antennas and they didn't see much improvement. And I think what the difference is, is is it improving or increasing the several, the signal level? That's easy for me to say. Or is it reducing the noise level so that you can hear the signal that's already there? I think that's the case. And that's the concept of the loop antenna. So that's the show for today. If you have any comments, please leave a comment. This is, you know, I am no expert in this area. Actually, I'm no expert in any area. But definitely not this area. Antennas, I'm still learning, still playing with antennas. Just getting empirical data like this. So anyway, that's the show. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.